Hello, this is the Future Heads at BBC Nottingham. We're going to play a song for you, and it is called The Heartbeat Song, and it goes like this. When we meet, I listen to your heartbeat. I can hear the rhythm and the tone. Every time I listen to my heart, it's like a cartwheel in my head, but my legs are made of lead. Your heartbeat song is good, but it's not the one. We're singing out of tune, but I still want to sing with you. When we speak, I find it hard to think straight, especially when there's no one else around. When we touch, it's impossible to concentrate. There's bright lights everywhere, like I'm floating in the air. Your heartbeat song is good, but it's not the one. We're singing out of tune, but I still want to sing with you. Your heart beats song It's good but it's not the one We're singing out of tune But I still want to sing with you I still want to sing with you If you care, we could share some time If we spare ourselves tonight When we meet, I listen to your heartbeat I can hear the rhythm and the tone Every time I listen to my heart It's like a cartwheel in my head But my legs are made of lead When we speak, I find it hard to think straight Especially when there's no one else around When we touch, it's impossible I concentrate this bright lights everywhere Like I'm floating in the air Your heartbeat song It's good, but it's not the one We're singing out of tune but I still want to sing with you Your heart beats song It's good but it's not the one We're singing out of tune But I still want to sing with you 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 Ole! Performed in the Beat Studio, the track is Heartbeat Song by the Future Heads. Welcome back. Hello. Hi. It's been five years almost to the day, four years almost to the day, since you last graced this studio, so thank you for coming back. Thanks yeah, for having us. Pleasure. And what a journey it's been for you in those four years, hasn't it, really? Yeah. A lot happening. A lot. A lot of change. Set up our own label. Released a couple of records. A couple of hundred gigs. <laughs> <laughs> you are one of the most hard-working bands in, in the country, aren't you? You mm. gig virtually from January through to December. Yeah. When we've got a new record, we're, we, I mean... People keep. I've done a few interviews and people say, keep saying, "So you, you guys are on tour till September." Like, yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh -oh. and, and beyond. <laughs> it's like, you what? Don't tell me, wife. It's like, <laughs> I know, I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. You make it sound like an accident. <laughs> it is. It is. It is an accident. It's all risk based, isn't it? You know, happy, happy look. Um, you never know. But yeah, here we are. Now, The Chaos is just a fantastic album. It, it, it's taken us on a completely new turn and twist, hasn't it, really? There's some darker moments on there than we've heard from you before. Yeah. yeah. When you went into the studio to record it, did you say, let's, let's shock them fans there? I think <laughs> something that we... It was, it was kind of recorded in, over a large period of time, and we weren't too premeditative, premeditative like it. about... Um, really how we wanted the album to be, other than that we wanted there to be some really excellent guitar riffs. Bring the chops back, yeah. that was the brief. Bring the chops back. Yeah, bring them back, you know, get the, get that kind of, the original attitude that we had that was kind of somehow dissolved over the kind of going through the albums and signing to Warners and then leaving them. You know, it's kind of, we've reached this point where I think we've, we've focused it properly and um, we're back to the the quite innocent or naive bravery that I think that all bands need. Well, you're a beacon of hope as well to bands that leave record companies, leave their, their major labels and, mm. and, and go <clears throat> on their own, because uh, the chaos, I think, is it, it's, you're building, aren't you? And yeah. uh, you're almost at your biggest now, I would suggest, mm -hmm. really. So the old record company, they must be kicking themselves for one thing, really. But have, <sighs> have, others, have others tried to lure you in now? Well, well yeah, they did. One, <laughs> one is the two weeks after we, Left. in inverted commas, got dropped by a subsidiary of Warner's, and therefore the Warner's family yeah. they offered us a separate deal which we turned down <laughs> I think it's, it's a funny business like the 
bands being like sort of dropped and record labels and stuff because it happens a lot more than I think people realise. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think it's just that we were very, very vocal about it when it happened, and we were quite open about talking about it to the press, and and we used it as part of our sort of ongoing story. Whereas a lot of bands either sort of like wither away after an event like that, or or they try and sort of like man manipulate the media to not cover it. In a, yeah. in, a, in a way, you know, but I, I, I don't think that's ever been our style, you know. It's just, you know, like Big Boy at Outcast or Gallows or Lost Profits. They've all been through similar things to us, but yeah. they don't carry that sort of like label around with mm. them, you know. And I think it's interesting that because we spoke about it, it's remained part of uh, the intrigue for people. Intrigue and kind of almost encouraging people to support you, really, in a way, I think, really. But, um, the Chaos really is a stunning album. Very, very, very good indeed. Were you aware when you went into the studio that what you were creating here was a really powerful piece of work? I don't think we did, to be honest. I didn't... It wasn't until it was finished, and we did it with three different in three different sessions, so we had no idea that they were even going to work at all until we actually had it mixed. Mm. So it was quite a nerve... Not... N not weren't nervous maybe but just that kind of intensity yeah. that kind of holding on to it and keeping chipping away at it until eventually you you come up with something that is beyond your expectations you know we did that without realizing you know um but we're dead chuffed when we heard it back mixed and mastered it was we were just so elated that would manage to make our fourth album it, in, to be released in our 10th year as a band and it's just real um you know, liberating thing for us, you know, to still be together and still be very much uh, in love with, with each other, in a sense, and with the band, you know. This song is called Struck Dumb. Misery is a little line or a little dash it's a subtraction sign happiness is a little cross so if you're feeling lost use it to add it up for crying out loud stop furrowing your brow start living in the clouds go and make your mother proud the negativity is ruining your sleep it makes you want to cry on your pillow the negativity is controlling your dreams So I'll say hello to something only I know I'm struck dumb but I'll give it a go Da 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 All of us are genius There's more than enough to go between us Every day you create everything in every way Laziness can go and play With ignorance on the motorway All of us are genius There's more than enough to go between us For crying out loud Stop furrowing your brow Start living in the clouds Go and make your mother proud too the negativity is ruining your sleep It makes you want to cry on your pillow The negativity is controlling your dreams So I'll say hello to something only I know I'm struck dumb but I'll give it a go The negativity is ruining your sleep It makes you want to cry on your pillow The negativity is controlling your dreams so I'll say hello to something only I know I'm struck dumb but I'll give it a go The negativity is ruining your sleep It makes you want to cry on your pillow The negativity is controlling your dreams So I'll say hello to something only I know I'm struck dumb but I'll give it a go